Hello, everybody. Um, you may remember me from last semester. Um, my name is James. Um, most of you have studied with me in, in first year. Um, there may be some students that, that don't know who I am. Um, for you, it's nice to meet you. And for everybody else, it's nice to see you again. So, um, this is a little bit unusual doing um, a video lecture. So, I'm going to put my face up in the corner here. There we go. So, we can see um, today's presentation slides more clearly. So everyone, um, welcome to Tourism English. Um, today's class, we are going to um, go through some of the outline of the course. Um, we also have an assignment to do at the end of today's class, which you should complete and give to me, and I will give you some feedback on that. Now, before we, we start with the lesson, um, there's just something I want to say about the um, online lectures. So obviously, due to the coronavirus 19 outbreak, we now know the first two weeks of class will be given through online lectures and class assignments. You can find the links to all of the class documents on the INHA College eLearning site. There will be some Microsoft Word and PDF documents, and you can find the YouTube links there as well. You will have to complete class assignments that are placed on the eLearning site, and I will give feedback on those assignments. In-class lectures are due to start again on week three, but this may be delayed further. We don't really know what is happening um, with the virus. So at the moment, it's week three. However, in-class lectures may be delayed to week four or five. We just don't know at the moment. So, um, we're going to have to use the e-learning site and for today's class, there are some materials that you should download. Um, the files required today are the handout containing all of today's class assignments. That is a Microsoft Word document and today's lecture presentation, which is a PDF file. You can open that with Adobe Acrobat. Um, I'm just going to show you what these files look like. The um, PDF file is simply my PowerPoint presentation, all of the slides, so that you can read all of the information in your own time. Um, and the Microsoft Word document is it looks like this. You'll see just introductions. And at the top, it says part one, the travel and tourism industry. And then you've got your instructions. And we're just going to be doing three questions um, today for your introduction assignment. So everybody should download these documents um, before we start um, today's class. OK, now let's go on with today's class. Now, I think I know most of you already, but for those of you that don't know me, my name is James Payton. In class or when you're talking to me on email or in text message, please use my first name, James. So don't call me Payton. If you want, you could call me Mr. Payton, that's okay. But I much prefer if you use my first name. So everybody call me James. There might be some questions you have this semester, especially with this um, coronavirus. We don't know what's happening. So please, if there's any questions you have, 
you can write me an email to j.payton at ymail.com. You can send me a message um, on Kakao Talk or text message to 10 2010 Any questions you have, just ask. I will respond as quickly as possible. Um, when we all return to school, maybe you want to see me face to face. Well, you can do that in the main building, room 402. So please, any questions you have, um, just ask. Now, next thing, our textbook for this semester is called Welcome and Welcome English for the Travel and Tourism Industry. We will be using this book in most classes. Your exams and homework will be based on the topics and the material in the book. So please, everybody should buy this um, before next week's lesson. Um, you can get it in the Inha bookstore. Um, you can also get it online at Yes24, any good online um, bookshop will we'll have this book and we will start using this from next week. Um, the grading in this class, again, it's the same as your other classes. We're using a grading curve, 35% um, maximum of A grade, 35% B grade, and Hopefully the rest will just be C grades. Um, if your score is above 60%, no problem with the C. If it's below 60, then maybe it's a D. And if you're absent four times or below 50%, it will be an F. Now, for those of you that have taken my class before, um, you know um, it's very possible to get over 60%. Um, the way the class is designed, there's lots of opportunity to score points. And it's quite unusual for any student to get below 60%. And the only way people are usually failing this class is if they don't come and they have the four absences. So again, guys, come and do your best and I'll give you the best grade I can. Um, again, with the grading in the class, it's made up of the same um, five components. First is attendance, which is 15 points. Second is class participation, which is 15 points. There will be two homework assignments for 10 points, so five points for each assignment, 30 points for your midterm exam and 30 points for your final exam. And I'm not going to go through everything again. Please, everybody, read my class attendance rules. Um, everybody should be clear about these rules before we start the semester. So we've got my rules about lateness and if you're 50 minutes late and about um, four absences. So please read these. Any questions, again, just ask. Our class participation, very important towards your final grade. This is 15 points. And again, this is about you. How much do you try in the class? So again, ways to increase your participation score, come to class on time, speak only English in class, always try to ask questions in English, speak with your partners, speak with your teachers in English. This next part's going to be quite important for the online lessons. Please complete all class activities. Make sure you read the class activities carefully and you complete all of the parts. Um, when we come back into school, well, 
The class is in class. I'll be expecting you to work well together with your partners and groups, give English presentations, perform role plays, and complete your homework on time. If you do all of these things, your participation score will be high. If you don't do these things, your participation score will be very low. So again, read the participation rules, any questions, and you can just ask me. Um, course structure, again, it will be split into two parts because we have two different exams. Part one will be up to the midterm exam, part two up to the final exam, and each part has a slightly different focus and have some different aims to prepare you for these different exams. So part one will be using our textbook welcome and I will show you the syllabus um, later and it tells you what units we'll be studying each week. But the focus here is to prepare for your midterm exam, which will be a one-on-one -on -one interview with me. And it will be a lot of role plays where I'll be asking you questions like a guest um, would ask or a customer would ask. And you will be um, answering them like a tour agent would or um, a tour staff member would. So the stages of the lesson here are going to be introduction, listening, conversation, some useful language and some speaking practice. If we're not in the class, the speaking practice will be done writing and then maybe you can submit some videos of yourself speaking um, doing that. But hopefully we won't be out of the class for too long and we can get back in and do lots more speaking practice. So each week we're going to be using different parts of um, the textbook. Here is the syllabus for the first um, week. So next week we're going to be looking at units 25 and 26. The topic is reservations and checking in. Week three, we're going to be talking about hotels. Week four, we're talking about money. Week five is about explaining the bill, how much things cost. And then week six is going to be about local knowledge. Um, then midterm exam will be our interview role play. So the syllabus just gives you a clear idea of what we'll be doing each week in class. It also shows us when you will be getting your homework. So homework one, I will give you in week six. I will be collecting your homework in week seven. So you would have one week to finish that homework. So again, look at the lesson outlines. This will give you a clear idea of what we are going to be studying in the class. Then in part two, um, we're going to be preparing for the final exam, which again will be a group presentation, a little bit different from last semester's group presentation. Last semester, you were free. You could choose whatever you wanted to do. This exam presentation is a little bit different because I'm going to be telling you exactly what to do and you have to go and find that information. So um, a little bit different from last semester's group presentation, but a lot of the parts are, are similar. So again, the stages of the lesson We'll be preparing you for that. We'll be doing introduction, listening and conversation, but we'll be doing a lot more group based tasks and presentations in the class and some role plays in the class as well. So the syllabus for part two, again, we've got week nine through to week 15. Um, we're doing topics like car rental and getting around dealing with complaints, 
seeing the sights, and then we're going to be looking at beach holidays, sun, sea and sand, and that will bring us up to prepare for that final presentation. We'll notice as well, I'll be giving you homework two on week 13, and I will be collecting that in week 14. So we've got one week again to do the second homework. So that is our course structure for um, this semester. Now, as I said before, we're not entirely sure when in-class lectures will start again. So our online classes will definitely be next week. We may have some more online classes after that. We don't know at the moment. Let's hope that the, the virus clears soon and we can all go back to, to school. So that is our course introduction. Now, what we're going to do today for our assignment is we're going to try and talk about the travel industry. Now, all of you are second year students. So you should have a lot of experience and knowledge about the travel and tourism in industry from the things that you studied last year. So what I thought would be good would be to talk about this um, industry by answering some questions about this. So I have made three questions for you to answer. They're in your class assignment handout. And I want you to write three answers of around 50 words each. Your answer should show your opinion and give details and examples to support that opinion. So the class handout looks like this. Your instructions are written here. And then you've got your questions. And you've got your space here to write your answers. So remember, it should be about 50 words. I don't know, probably this amount would be about 50, 50 words. And then on the second page, we've got question two and we've got question three. So three different questions, all asking about the travel and tourism industries. So what are these questions? Well, question one, what do you think is the best thing about working in the tourism industry? So here I want you to think of some positive things about the, the tourism industry, why you would want to work there and explain that thing, give reasons, uh, maybe give some examples. So maybe you think, well, I think the best thing about working in the tourism industry is meeting new people. I want to be a tour guide and tour guides have to meet people every day. So um, we could give examples of this. If I was a tour guide in Jeju Island, I could meet many um, people coming from China or Japan to visit that island. So we can give some extra details as well. So that's just a, an example for question one. Question two, what do you think is the most difficult thing about working in the tourism industry? So again, you have to think here, um, explain why you think the thing is difficult and maybe give some examples. So again, maybe you think the most difficult thing is angry customers or maybe traveling a lot or waking up very early in the morning for a tour. There could be lots of um, things that you think are difficult. And then question three today is how do you think the tourism industry will change in the future? So this question is very open. You can answer this in any sort of way. Um, maybe you want to talk about how people are booking um, travel. So for example, in the future, um, there will be no more um, 
travel agency shops, everybody will do it on their, their phone. Or maybe it will be the way people travel in the future. They maybe don't use planes. There's a new form of transport that's quicker. Or maybe people will um, travel more and go to new types of countries. There's, there's lots of different answers that you could use for this question. So again, just think about it. Give your answer, explain that answer with some reasons and examples. So all three questions here should be um, 50 words each. You should complete them in your handout and then you will submit that handout and I can give you some feedback about that. So that is the assignment for today's class. Next week, we will start our first topic from the textbook, which is about making reservations and checking in. That will also be um, an online lecture. Um, before then, if anybody has any questions about today's introduction lesson or about today's assignment or about anything else, remember you can contact me by email or you can contact me by text message or Kakao Talk. So that is everything for today. Um, thank you, everybody, and I will see you next week. Bye bye.